Hi guys, I wanted to share a build tip that I'm using on my most recent build. It's basically insulation for the SMA extension that goes through the top plate. First I'll show you what it is and I'll explain after. Sorry, ignore these zip ties, they have nothing to do with it. So, this is what it looks like. This nut came with the SMA extension. Sorry, it's on there really tight. That came with the SMA extension. These two pieces also came with the SMA extension, but I couldn't include them because they just took up too much space and I wouldn't be able to get the antenna all the way on with everything stacked on there. This was labeled at the local hardware store as a quarter inch nylon flat washer. And if you can see around this SMA extension I've drilled a 3 8 inch hole and I put in something else from the local hardware store. This was called a nylon quarter inch shoulder washer I believe. And I actually sanded that down a little bit on this sandpaper so that everything would fit stacked up on the SMA extension and the antenna would still be able to go all the way down. So these are the two pieces that I'm using and the only modification that I made was that I sanded this shoulder washer down so it would be thinner, closer to the thickness of this flat washer. And I colored this flat washer black because I think it looks cooler. Alright, the reason for all this is that if you use the SMA extension as as uh, with the top plate as is, the SMA extension touches the carbon fiber. And I was told that because the SMA extension is the ground for the antenna and carbon fiber is conductive, that this might negatively affect the video signal. So that's the reason why I sought a solution for that. I've also done what many people do. which is to mount it like this, but when you mount it like that and you you gotta secure it really tight so it doesn't break the transmitter in a crash and that makes it difficult to swap things out. Uh, just my preference. And I haven't flown it yet with these nylon washers. I haven't crashed it, so I have yet to see if they hold up in a crash. But that's my uh, attempt at a solution. Thanks for watching.